Welcome back to Pops and Pylons. Let's play some more European Versailles 4 as Russia. We used to be Novgorod. We are going for the Frozen Assets Achievement, where we have to have to, uh, where we have to have 90% of the trade power in the White Sea Trade Node and have to make that trade node the most powerful trade node in the world. We are in the fourth episode now, I think, of fighting the Ottomans because they declared war on us. Just, just a very mean act of aggression. I don't know why every, anybody would aggress on me. Um, I think the actual reason was that we hadn't been on force limit for a while with our troops because we just didn't need it for our wars. And the Ottomans thought, hey, well, that's easy pickings. Turns out we're not easy pickings, but it cost us so much. And they had such a big advantage early on um, in tech, in generals, in ideas, and just everything. Um, and that turned out to be very, very deadly. Now, we're beating them uh, handily now, well, handily, but it costs us a lot. And it costs us also a lot of time that we rather wanted to use to maybe try to finish the um, achievement before industrialization kicks in, because then the English channel is going to get even more powerful, and that's uh, so bad. I'm also going to send an in insult to Ming, um, because I just noticed we are below 50 power protection. After this war, we're not going to be anymore. We arrive to the Ottomans and the Ottomans. Uh, we're going to even take land from them. So we're winning a war against the Ottomans and taking land from them. That should give us a bunch of power protection. But uh, until that is done, uh, we were losing monarch points because we're not having enough power protection. Now, for some reason... Hello, Ottoman stack. Um, for some reason, the Ottomans keep running small stacks through these choke points uh, in multiple situations and just running them in there and dying. On the Siege of Trebizond. Ooh, they actually would do the peace deal that I wanted. Now, I'm kind of tempted to take more, though. Um, just cause. Trade note-wise, I think we took everything we need. Uh, yeah, because this is not Ottomans. So we're taking all the stuff in the trade node. For now. Could take stuff in the Persia trade node. Just cause. Um, could try to take uh, Sinop here to reduce the power they have in the Constantinople trade node. That reduces the power that they can feed back into Crimea. So maybe it's something like this. Which uh, they currently don't like, but they could be made to like. Don't know if it's worth spending my time on that, but now that I've actually beaten the Ottomans up, I should probably take as much as possible. Uh, to get a long peace deal and to weaken them as much as I can. And, uh, yeah, I think that sounds sensible. And they're essentially out of um, non-mercenary guys. Um, they have a bunch of mercenaries running around, um, but no cannons anymore, and they should be dying quite easily now. Yeah, I think we take a bigger peace deal. Screw it. Um... Although I would really like to uh, beat up the English instead. <laughs> More small stacks running into my army, that's fine by me. Um, if the Ottomans want to waste their money like that. They don't waste manpower because it is not men. Uh, it's just mercenaries, but still. I think you can start seeing sit up. Where are you running? To mush. No, no, mush is what I want to turn you into. Let's have you lock in. And then go there. Kangri Separatists. That's gonna be fine. Daily can deal with it. It's fine. Um, we're still annexing Daily at the moment. Uh, <laughs> 1k Pomeranian troops being eaten by 30,000 uh, Ottomans. Not very nice at all. Won the Siege of Merv. Now there's Herat to take. To take my land back as well. You keep chasing um, those pavements here. And by pavements, I obviously mean Ottoman annoyo stacks. Um, crunch? Yes. Stitch, <laughs> stitch wipe. Yes, a stitch wipe. A stack wipe. Hissen is level 6 fort in mountains or highlands. Uh, maybe we're not going into the southern Ottoman territory anymore. Maybe focus on taking some land over here and then uh, being done with it. Level 6 fort. That's ah, just mean. 
Who does that? Who has level 6 swords? I have one. I think one, yeah. We built it right at the beginning of the war um, to shore up our defenses over here um, at the Caucasus. It kind of worked. Well, you were just crushing down Pomerania's capital, though. I need to go deal with you. Blah. We could always just peace out. Mm -hmm. Wait, button. Could be a macro builder for this. It's kind of annoying to click all these buttons. So, which, which mission did we fulfill? Colonize West Siberia. Oh, there we go. What do we get for that? Diplo power. Nice. Um, and local goods produced. Hmm. Kind of want that at the end of the campaign, though. Maybe we don't click it yet. Didn't have a follow up, or is it at last? Oh, it does have a follow up. Color is Eastern Siberia, which gives us more settlers. Meh. Hmm. Don't really want that. Uh. Because bonus production means we can have more trade value, which is what we need to fulfill our achievement. So there's that thing taken. So now I will go and hunt you guys down. Yes, with the whole big stack. And what else are we doing? Except for taking attrition everywhere that we don't want to take because I'm scared. Russia occupied is a room. I think Russia is us. Mm -hmm. You're taking that, that's fine. Let's walk over here as backup. You actually ran. Interesting, you took the capture and then ran. I do want to kill that piece of garbage. Not with this. I really want to go back to peace. Well, peace is the wrong word, I guess. I really want to go back to uh, fighting people that I care about instead of these auto scum. Mm. So maybe I should. Oh, you're now giving me that peace deal too. Barely, but you are. It's always tempting to take more. It's just always so tempting. Um, ooh, is there any point? There's probably no point, right? No. Thought about making them steer trade. Which would be a tiny bit of pressure from the Ottomans here. But not a lot. And less once we take that. It's not really worthwhile. And uh, Persia... Persia is actually... They have a lot... How do the Ottomans have so much power in Persia? They have one piece of land in the Persia trade node. Must all be all the backflip from Aleppo. It's a lot of trade value in Aleppo. Um, hmm. Where does that come from, anyway? Oh, it's just in there. What? Nine ducats from Persia is not nothing, but it's mostly just in there. Now, what's my, what's my desired outcome here? I mean, I wouldn't mind a 100% peace deal, obviously. Oh, did I screw up? No. More. Whoa. Uh, I think my subject is going to need some help. <laughs> so, do we stop this now? Or do we continue going? I think we stop this now. I think it's fine. Beating the Ottomans, we're going to take it good amount of land from them, maybe a tiny bit more even. Mm, not more. Fine. Uh, how much over are we? Almost looks as if we could be able to... Oh no, we're already over war score, that's why. We can take a decent amount of money. Not remotely what we spent on this war, but still. I think we do this and be fine with it. How many ticks is this? I feel like we're close to being able to take war reps. Yeah, no. Fine. Fine. Just money. Just 700 ducats or whatever it was. Yeah. Let's go. Good enough. 
Ah, uh, I shouldn't have clicked. There was a giant number. I think we lost a million guys in that war. <laughs> it only killed 600,000 Ottomans. But we did it. Um, we got that land. We got some quite amount of power projection out of it. We can finally, well, finally core this land now. It's all good. We have uh, immediately a rebellious subject in Delhi. Um, should not be rebellious. I'm going to pay off your debt. There you go. Um, group these guys up so we can beat the John Puri and go back to war. <laughs> Good thing this war is over so we can go back to war. Um, with my armies. You split into two. Walk somewhere here. You guys start walking over here. Uh, do I have a stack running around somewhere? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's get going. Get going, everybody. We have things to do. We have to kill 41,000 separatists. We have to kill Transoceana, which is still allied to Afghanistan and Fars, who are still allied to a bunch of people. So let's jump right in the next big war, right? <laughs> it's fine. It's just fine. Um, these stacks are a bit too big to not take attrition. Which I should probably fix. I should also think about what else. Did we do anything else? Not really. I think we... I mean, we took Defend of the Faith, but that's fine. Now I guess we're just, just going to have increased tech cost until the end of the campaign. Um, I don't think you can give back Defend of the Faith, right? No. Um... So unless somebody took it from us, which would require them to be Iceland declared war on Denmark. Wow. <laughs> Denmark is so dead. We also need to declare war over there. Um, what was I saying? Unless, uh, unless, 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 unless. I know start with unless. Mm. I don't even remember what I was talking about. So never mind. Oh, Defender of the Faith. Unless there's other um, people of our religion in the world, which I don't think there are, um, we Orthodox people, maybe there's some in uh, the HRE still, because we made some. Uh, that's not religious. This is religious. Doesn't look like it. Reform. No, there's some Orthodox here. Saxon. <laughs> Saxony. So, if Saxony would take uh, <laughs> Defend of the Faith from me, then we could lose it. Which means Saxony needs to find 500 ducats somewhere and be more prestigious than I am or something weird. Yeah, it's not happening. Freedom of the Press. Ugh. National unrest or lose one innovativeness? No, I goes one innovativeness. I don't want national unrest at the moment. <laughs> There's Saxony trying to ally me. They heard me talking about them. Decline. Um, Jakant Separatists. Where are you gonna show up? You're gonna be 40,000 guys in Hotan, Kuka, Jakant, Malbaraxi over here. I guess you're just gonna have to come out and die. Did you actually handle your Separatists? Impressive. No, they're still there. Never mind. Just hidden. Um, influence is probably fine. Well, we did milk some estates, but it's still all fine. Good. Now, we want to fight trans. Oh, we want to fight Afghanistan. We want to have more diplo. A lot more diplo. How are we doing on that annexation? 14%. Uh, Fourteen percent is a very, very low number considering. I mean, we were running on for speed four, but still lost the claim on Kokko. Is that actually no? Where's Kokko? Kokko. Oh, it's claim on Oirat we lost. So we need claims. We don't need claims on Transo, right? We have them. Yes, we have. We used to have a claim on Afghanistan. We don't anymore. I'm not going to make one in time, so I guess we're just going to do that without claims. 
Um, building some again on Eurat is interesting. Don't still don't really know how we get into Eurat to attack them. To be quite honest. Um, could just use threaten war things, but mm. <laughs> would allow you to be my vassal. But you are too big to be my vassal. That's not happening. I think we just ignore Eurat for now. Um, there go the rebels. Leave a guy here. Okay, more rebels for daily. And once you're all in place, you're kind of in place. Be here. Be here. Be, I don't know, here. You're just back up anyway. And then we can go back to war. And... <laughs> At war with Iceland and Powhatan. As you do. This is ours. So who are we gonna fight? Random people, right? Ah, uh, it is. Jump was one of those random people, if I remember correctly. Yes. So actually this army being around here is not the worst. Good. Now. But I'm not going to give more land to John Poor this time. Uh, to Daily. They're already very rebellious and also very interested. Well, that's the same thing. Um, very rebellious and uh, very expensive to annex. I have no colors ability to declare in Afghanistan. I do not, but I do have a colors ability to declare in Trans-O. And then I can tell Afghanistan to be part of that. I could also take Fars. No, that caused the Mamluks in. I don't... They're not big, but I don't care. I don't think they have land that I need. Well, no, they don't. I don't need the Hormuz trade node. Um, I don't really need Persia either. either. Isa. Um, but I do want Kashmir in this. And that stuff. So let's just go. Uh, declare war on Transoceania. For Alton, sure. Afghanistan. All in Delian Pomerania, crunch, crunch. Uh, Afghanistan comes in and we start crunching and who else came in? Fars. Mara did not come in yet, nor did Nasht. Okay. John Poor did even come in. Nice. That is very nice. Um, that saves me a lot of annoyances. Guess we have to go for that fort. Um, that means this army doesn't need to be around here. They might as well be... If only I had a place to stand with a giant army like this. But I don't. Why are you this gigantic anyway? 20,000, 35... That's actually not horribly wrong, right? You need 36 in the front row and 20,000. You are an actual army. It's just that there's no land that can actually take you. This place can. Stand there. Transo, does Transo even have an army? I don't see any armies. There's a 10k army. Um, I wish you had a general when doing that. Just to avoid unnecessary losses. Uh, lose stability? No. Gain loyalty on the boyars. Some autonomy change. It's not nice for Russia, but it's fine. I don't know if we still have those um, big ticking loyalty things, loyalty, autonomy things that we had from the quests. They're probably gone by now. It's still fine. Although we're not at peace a lot, so our autonomy doesn't go down as much. But if we have high autonomy, we can just um, go for the reduced autonomy thing, uh, which gives us absolutism, which is nice. Ottomans declared one Mamluks. <laughs> You're back to warring, are you, Ottomans? You just lost the war. You should take some time and reflect on that. On the stupidity of attacking me. They are the Jakandi separatists, so my army can go and uh, get rid of that. Go through the mountains there, take a bunch of attrition, sure. On the siege of Alton. Go crunch these guys. Go there. Uh, Dillian Pretender rebels, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Separatism, 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 that's all fine. Um, crunched something. Oh, Daly's killing my rebels. That's nice of them. Uh, what did I just crunch? Huh. Oh, no. 
something. Oh, the transit is right. Convert to Kent. Let's go convert this place. Sure, get that military access, Mum looks. It's fine. So to get the Crimea, what are we missing? I've already just completed. Oh, we've already completed it. Never mind. Uh, what are we missing for consulate steps? All oh, the province in the Western Siberia region. It's probably some Chagatayan land or Oirat land in there. Oirat land. It's going to be very annoying to get. We just had that one big war. Don't really fancy following that up with a Ming war. And again, I think I will fabricate on these guys. I don't know if Ming can ever be too busy to join, but probably not against the rival. Probably they will always join against me. Kazakh Acceptors at 90. I'm just gonna have to die then if that happens. Doomsday on the Totonak. Completely irrelevant information. On the Siege of Darab, Darab, whatever. Can I eat you? 16th, 29th, no. Let's take just Shiraz. Oh, you're going to Shiraz. Let's let you lock in first. Thank you. And then crunch you. X, what are you? Oh, Nash did join. John Poor also joined. They did. Oh, they just came in late. Um, that means my army has something to do down here. Fine. Fine by me. Um, I'm 56, though. You should really be walking somewhere where you're useful. Um, or somewhere you can hang out. What is it? Kazaki Separatists, right? In where? Uh, Kazaki Separatists in... <laughs> never. Just try to find a place to stand. Only supply map work was any use. See, why isn't this green in places where my army can stand? And red in places where it can't? Instead, it's just green wherever there's still some supply left. And red where there's armies? I don't... Ah. Bah, bah, bah. 47. 34. That's eh, just not a place. This just doesn't exist. There's no such thing as a place you can stand. You know what? Walk out and half of you just go there. Fudge it. You go out there, and if I do need you, I'll call you in. Now. Crunch. Crunch indeed. Kill that captive for Actually, some of you could kill these Najdis here. Like these 28k. Take care of Najd. Will you? Uh, Karaman, military alliance to Mara. Plant is back under my occupation. That's good. Um, Daily tried to throw out the John Puri and failed. That really shouldn't have. Oh, you shouldn't have, Daily. Um, capped on admin. Whoops. Um, how are we doing on tech? We're probably still way ahead of time. Yeah. We took it so much ahead of time that. I mean, that makes sense. Um, did we grab some inflation at any point? No. At least not relevant amounts. So let's develop in a place. How about this place? Zupzov. Sure. Zupzov. Your state needs encourage development. Twelve. And encourage development. Where are you at? There. And then go grab a bunch of animal power. Rebels, bunch of money. We should spend our money. Uh, good manufactories? Hmm, decent. Yes, 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 yes. Good enough. Give me that trade value. I need it. Siege of Kandahar. Now, this is 28,000 um, 
John Puri that kind of want to be chased down. Conversion. Keep doing that. Wish I had more Diplo power, but I'm spending it all on good old... Actually, John Poole took daily. Oh. Um, on good old stuff. Integration of daily. Oh, speaking of. Oh, can you get there in time? Probably not. Oh, this looks like we're not managing. Next to the fort. Um, I guess you guys can come in and start taking some land here. Uh, things happening. Good. Change rival costs, fort maintenance, and border with rivals. Yeah, I guess that's what we're taking here. Not that it's super relevant. Um, idea. I also want that. I new trader. Yes, please. And we need to be pushing stuff along from Kashmir, really. Uh, transfer trade power, please. Into a good place. Bohemia is no longer great power. We're also no longer allied to Bohemia. We still have a bunch of cores on Bohemia that we could take. Um, that we should probably pay attention to. Where are you going? To BAM. Can I also go to BAM? Only if I go that way. Seems bad. Let's just take the ranch instead. And do that and that. And This feels so much e easier than fighting those Ottomans. I mean, it is so much easier. Uh, this is why it feels much easier. Um, take down forts of the Jampuri. Question is how much land we take of the Jampuri and if we can. Well, we can if we take a bunch of land of Afghanistan. We can also take a bunch of land of Jampur, right? If we just get the border here. Because otherwise I would have to give it to my subject and I don't want that. I think. That's how that works. You guys are just hanging out in places, that's fine. You chased away the Najdi. Now you can go and kill the Najdi, I guess. You probably just break up all those alliances, just so they stop annoying me. Fars, how dead are you, Fars? Very dead. You want your land? Um, Persia trade mode, node or moose trade mode. Uh, not really relevant land to me. Persia... If Shahan is not you, right? No, we have that. Is this a state of ours? It's not. Hmm. So what do we even want from you, Fars? I think if I take a bunch of land here, which I obviously could, um, then that's probably gonna annoy some extra people. Yeah, like the Mamluks. Mm, I don't really... Not super interested in another big coalition against me. Oh, another coalition at all. We just took Fars and told them to pay me war reps and... Clear offer. Pay me war reps. Steer trade if that's a thing. Is that a thing? Transfer your trade power. And allow your treaties to transfer. And since we're actually lacking prestige somewhat, I could kind of end this rivalry. So let's wait a tiny bit longer. Um, so they fully give up, so we can get some prestige out of this. Because so I've been spending so much prestige on a subject. This is actually a bit annoying, because my army is sort of tied down at the moment. Uh, maybe this army can do things. Eh, they don't screw up. I already did. Split you in half. If you do that. Horse incoming. Excellent. On that Ottoman land. It'd be nice if the Dalians could do something here, but they're probably just gonna die. I think I wait for the fort and then I go crush the John Puri. Fast, you want out. I understand. I totally understand. And you know what? I have a piece offer for you right here. Just need one more reason for you. You need just one more reason. And then you can leave. And then I try to get Najd out and Mara out, maybe. And then I go 
crunch these John Puri, although they're doing really well on sieging down my fort here. I'm not a fan of that at all. You, Nikofir, you can just be on here so that we can maybe come in time to rescue that fort. We're probably not. We might. <laughs> Random small stacks dying on our way to Nash. That is fine. And won the Siege of Gird. How are you doing, Fars? Do you want out? You should want out. You do want out. Good. I can even ask you for a ducat. Six. Six whole ducats. Cool. Um, yes. Get out. I'll merge you, get you into my own land to be un black flagged, and then that's all good. Now, crush somebody in Najd, sitting on Najd. How much does it take to get you out? It does take a diplomat, always. Oh, you ran? Oh no, you took the fort. And then you ran. We also took the fort. Nice. Let's see if we can't uh, catch these John Puri now. Um, what's happening here? Bonus manpower, loss of institution spread. Next institution is not for 25 years. But this is until the end of the game. Whoa. This is a really powerful event. Otherwise, we gain a bunch of unrest, goods produced reduction. That seems horrible. I'm going to take this and be unhappy about the slow institution spread we're going to have. It's fine. Speaking of, let's do as the last thing of this episode. Huh. First of all, find the state edict that mode. It's always the last thing I look for. And then, certainly don't want to enforce religious unity here. I don't. This has probably been up for forever. Protect trade is fine. Local death cost is. Wait, which where we want? Moscow, no edict. No edict. No edict. And no edict. Also you. Should save us a bunch of money. Could save us a bunch of money for a million years. But forgetting edicts is what I do. Won the siege of Zaranj. So what do we want from Afghanistan? Can we get them out yet? Eh, 59% probably doesn't give us what we want yet. Uh, trade node. I need the super piece, and then I need the trade node thing. And then I want to say I want all of you land on this trade node. Um, Indus. I mean, Indus is more interesting to me than uh, Hormuz. So probably going down the Indus notes fine. Like this. And then... Oh, this is also Afghanistan. This and this. Who's going to be unhappy? trans doesn't matter. Afghanistan doesn't matter. Jampur doesn't matter. Baluchistan doesn't matter. Malva doesn't matter. Farsa doesn't matter. Ottomans don't matter right now in Jilan. Eh. So this could be our peace deal. Um, but for that we need to bunch more war score like 20 maybe 10 is good enough you can you catch these guys they're running to the mountains in Badash Khan you're arriving on the 12th of January they're arriving on the 20th of December so that's a no well you can't get there but uh, it's gonna be fight in mountains which nobody wants well they probably do um, now there's really no point in sitting on jungle dash here. I oh, Daly's feeding a lot of troops. You are black flag that uh, can be changed. You are still sitting on Najd. Should try to remember to move those guys out of Najd before we um, peace out Najd, so they don't get black flagged here. Let's move you out, so we can walk on to Mara. that and then super piece I just want you to <laughs> I don't even know war reps 
Give me a bunch of prestige if you can. Um, trade power probably doesn't matter, but hey, give it to me. I'll give you, give me your money. Sure. Goodbye, Najd. And you guys now walk on Mara, please. You guys, where are you running? Nagiri, Ngari. Oh, I'd be happy if I don't have to deal with these Dalian Mountains anymore at some time. Um, Converted Heretics, you want to take another fort. You should be converting somebody. Also, we should be upgrading things, and I'm 35 minutes. Um, I'll do the development in between episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, why don't you like my video, subscribe to my channel, and if you want to say anything, do it down there in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.